when we think about a saint or to be a saint we can learn to think about get right or get wrong and so we have to break this paradigm from my point of view is way to a say has its own purpose uh, that means uh, more than important is to know how to use it considering the assessment is a tool more in the learning process so we have to change the concept uh, that the, the learners have about the assessment and for that reason it's important to work in their awareness and here is, is where the real knowledge is and not in a graded exam. I consider the, the assessment of knowledge ha, has been changed through time. Recently, we speak about objectives, goals, achievements, motives, expectations. That means the assessment goes for a different way and we must prepare uh, to incorporate this new terminology in our process of teaching and learning. I want to do more emphasis in the way when we refer to the mistake and other people make um, because that it's an insensible part of the human minds. So most there is a good channel of communication to focus the observation. Um, is, is, is to assessment is important to know a, a little of social psychology. In conclusion, there is no doubt the assessment is an important part of the of the of the of the learning process. Who determines the effectiveness uh, of the of the teach of the of the of the teaching method. Having in mind that is a way to know if we truly obtain knowledge. By another hand, uh, as a consequence with a widened exercise, uh, both teachers uh, having in mind the grammar mistakes, uh, capital letters and a spell. Uh, an advice for them it could be that analyze the medals and incorporate them. Uh, I think their, their Raul's medal is, is quite passive and Prija's medal is quite technique. So, uh, we we can to fusion these two two medals uh, and then could be interesting. I consider there is no there is not an error in a line three uh, playable. Rather, uh, a difference from our linguistic perspective. That is normally in Latin America, we say, ella juega con una pelota. I mean, we specify the object who is used to be the action. Uh, instead, in North America, they say, she likes to play a ball. In Spanish means, e ella le gusta jugar a la pelota. And that means that the ball is a game. Uh, the context is important, but I think that the given it is a great an exercise, the study of language for this way is still more important, more uh, vital to understand its operations. So, just like a student Priya, I want to emphasize in the linguistic rules. Uh, I prefer doing corrections through an original metal named a uh, comparative form, where present several uh, correct options 
uh, for half learning with relation. However, like uh, I say previously, I agree with with Bridger Medals. That is all. Thank you very much.